Let's see if we get started, man. I see now this right here showing me the check on that. It didn't show me that earlier. So I'm thinking we are live now. Let me check. I'm gonna check my phone right quick. We gotta be live now. Yeah, we gotta yep. be live yep. now. Yep. 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 So I'm thinking so that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I understand what it is now. Yeah, I understand what it is. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Had some technical difficulties earlier. We tried to do a live stream earlier, but it looks all through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shower goes down on the planet of the earth. Let his will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shem, Bahashem, Dash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actives. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God. So people here for a bit. You can hear me pretty clear, bro. Uh, I can hear you clear, loud and clear. Now look, you see the title. Are you seeking righteousness? This lesson pretty much pertains to you, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Are you seeking righteousness? Um, I put a couple of scriptures together through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shah, Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. Because mm -hmm. this is the time to be seeking righteousness, not wickedness. You know, this is the time to be spiritual, not carnal. Mm -hmm. so, so the question for all of us Israelites, are you seeking righteousness? Because if not, death is going to be your best friend soon come, you know? And bro, get, get Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Because right. I don't know if my people got the message. I don't know if they're watching the news, but we're living in perilous times, man. We're living in evil times, man. Mm -hmm. And the majority of our people going to get caught out there. By the God of the Bible, because he control all the issues of death, man. Life and death. I, I want to get one scripture, bro, and you can break it down. Time. Before you get there, I want to get this right quick. This is um Deuteronomy. And then we'll move on with the lesson. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, Am he? Mm -hmm. And there is no power with me. Yeah. I kill. You want to say yeah. something? Yeah, kind. Of. If I could chime in, that's your Howard by Shimei was shy. You know, your Howard being the Heavenly Father through the name of your Howard shy. Okay, the Heavenly Father is the one killing and making alive. This is I kill and I make alive. Mm -hmm. I wound and I heal. Mm -hmm. Neither is there any. They can neither is there any, mm -hmm. neither is there any That's right. that can deliver out of my hand. And no one can deliver out of the hands of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All this these perilous times that we in with the death and destruction that's going on, and then at a heavy alarming rate, and it's gonna turn up even more. You know, the news ain't reporting it in these perilous times, but Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is doing this. That's why people need to be seeking righteousness, right. you know. Because the Lord is bringing that hammer down, man. You know, he's That's the one right. who's alive, wounding, and healing. So if, if we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is doing that, then that's who we're supposed to be seeking. You know? That's right. Because the scripture say, um, all those that didn't want me to reign over and bring here and slay. The Lord yeah. said, all the Israelites that didn't want me to reign over them, bring them over here. Bring them right. hither and slay them, man. Meaning kill them, man. See, the God of the Bible ain't playing with none of us, man. It says, seek ye the Lord and ye that ye may live, man. Right. Read on, verse 40. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 40. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. Mm. If I wet my glittering sword and my, because they think the God of the Bible is all about love, bro, all about kisses, hugs, and all this other nonsense. Nah, the God of the Bible said, if I lift up, and look, look, what do you say? If I wet my glittering sword, and my hand take hold on judgment because judgment goes forth each and every day, right? Right, God will constantly bring forth judgment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that scripture that I'll, I'll be bringing out all the time. I, I forgot exactly what it is. It's about um, the Lord bringing forth judgment each and every day. Lord um, bring forth judgment every day. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it said, no, so I can look for it though. Psalm 68. Nah, 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 that ain't it. It's about um, every morning. Type, type in type in every morning, bro. Shalom, bro. It says, um, okay, if I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, 
I will render vengeance to mine adversary. So it says, it says righteousness delivered from death, right? Mm -hmm. The Lord says he's going to render vengeance to his enemies, man. That's right. So two thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they have made themselves enemies of you. Look, they're worried about being an enemy of the state, right, bro? <laughs> they need to be worried about being an enemy of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, right? That's right. That's what they need to be worried about. Are people killing themselves right now, bro? You know? Stores <laughs> flooded, bro. I had to go pay a couple of bills a day, man. Stores flooded, bro. Mm hmm. With Jason, you know I'm saying, damn, they're about to wreck each other, run into each other cars, bro, trying to get in and out of stores, bro. Trying to get that gift, man. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you have a bunch of shot is handing out judgment to it at the same time, right? That's right. It says, if I wet my glitter, did y'all find it, bro? No, I'm looking for it now. Every morning. I'm thinking it's in the um Old Testament, too, though. Okay, con. It says, if I wet my glittering sword in my hand, take hold on judgment. I will render vengeance. That's what kind of judgment he's going to bring forth, bro. Vengeance. That's right. I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. And anytime you, the Israelites don't want to seek righteousness, that means you're telling the God of the Bible that you really hate them, man. You know? And, and you know, you have mm -hmm. about to say, yo, all those that hate me love death. That's what the Lord said, man. Mm hmm. So the yep. one I'm about, you found it? I found it, bro. It's like you. Go ahead, brother. Yep. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 5. Right, yep. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. See, the just Lord is in the midst thereof, man. Omnipotent, man. Meaning you can't get, see, you can't, you can't run and you can't hide, man. That's right. There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> He's in the midst thereof, man. The omnipotent, man. You have Bashim al Shai, and then on top of all that, bro, he got the angels watching everything, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, reading on, Zephaniah. I forgot, I forgot what I was getting ready to get through the spirit, man. I was getting ready to get a powerful scripture. But read on, though. Con. Zephaniah 3 and 5, it says, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Right. Oh, yeah, I, I remember now. Go ahead. Every morning, it's like it, bro. Ain't nothing wicked about you. How about Shimei was shy? That's right. Said he would not do iniquity. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Every morning, do it. He bring his judgment to light. Hey, look, hey, look, bro. Every morning. Mm -hmm. See, that's one thing about you. How about Shimei was shy? He don't miss a beat, bro. That's right. You have about Shimei was shy? Don't miss a beat, man. Every second, every millisecond of the day, he bring forth his judgment, bro. You know. Mm -hmm. We just read in that scripture right there, Deuteronomy. You know, what I'm saying the thirty. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna get the bottom of that right quick. One more time. Uh -huh. I gotta get it one more time, bro. That's right. I must be allowed to get it one more time. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Deuteronomy, <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two. Look, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, bro. We we persuade men, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we cut the camera on, right, bro? That's right. For the terror of the Lord, right? Deuteronomy right. chapter thirty-two, verse forty. And I want you to read that again too, bro. So hold mm -hmm. that. For for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, judgment go forth every morning, right? And look, bro, hold um, hold on. What is it? Psalms 68 and 20, right? 68 and 20, yep. Yeah, hold that on deck too. That's right. It says, um, and mine hand take hold on judgment. I will render vengeance to mine enemies and reward them that hate me, man. So that's the judgment that you have about Shema Shah is raining down upon two thirds of these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is not seeking righteousness. Because mm -hmm. these people don't have the spirit to seek righteousness, you know? They won't give it, they won't give in the spirit of you have about Shema Shah. To even think about seeking righteousness, man, seeking the God of the Bible, it ain't in them. Right. They got to worship our Lord and Savior, you know what I'm saying, when we get into the kingdom, though. But right about now, he gave them their own gods, man, Allah, Buddha, Sensa Maria. That's who they seeking out, the, man. They ain't seeking out the Yahweh, but Shema Shah. They're not seeking out the righteousness. They won't create it to seek out the righteousness, bro. We was, though. Right. But on this side, the elect. So read that right quick, bro. Huh, yeah, Zephaniah. Are you on that uh, song? Um, Zephaniah right quick. Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. 
Right. He will not do iniquity. He will not do iniquity. Go ahead. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. Look, every morning, every morning you hear about a car crash, right, bro? That's right. Every morning you hear of a shootout, right? Right. Every morning you hear of you no know, saying somebody getting stabbed up, right? You every morning you have a baby dying, right? Mm -hmm. That's the judgment of your how about she going forth every morning, right? That's right. Every morning you hear about somebody becoming homeless, right? Mm -hmm. Every morning somebody losing their job, right? All those issues come up your how about she a shot, right? Yep. Uh, a train crash, you name it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody just slipping on a banana peel, bro. bro what's the head wide open, man? <laughs> right. How about she a shot, you know? That's right. And then I got I got one right. Was that the end of that? You know, it's a little bit more. Yeah, read it from the top, bro. Yep, Zephaniah three and five. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. And look, the just Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Our power is a righteous power, you know. And then our power is a merciful power too, if you seek Him, right? That's right. Go ahead. He will not do iniquity, right? Every morning. Do it to light. He fell if not. And look, bro, that's a fearful thing, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not acting according to what the scriptures tell us to act like, the God of the Bible can bring that judgment upon you. Whenever yep. he feels like it, man, and he'll burn down your house, man. And you'll you barely escape, you know what I'm saying? By the hands of your chin to chin chin. That's right. Like the God of the Bible, like, yo, what do I got to do to um for you to turn back to righteousness? What do I have to do to you? Or what do I have to do to um, one of your family members to make you seek me, man? You know? That's right. What, do I have the damn to take your life to, to make you seek me? To seek right. righteousness? Or do I have to really just take your, your life for real, for real? You know what I'm saying? Because either way, you're going to serve your how about Shimei was shot. Whether you're on earth or whether you're up in the heavens, you're going to serve. That's right. You're going to bow down. And I got one right quick, bro. Was that the end of that? No, it's a little bit more. It Wait. said, he fell if not. Wow, bro, bro, he fell of not, man. Mm -hmm. when, it, when it comes to the judgment of your how about Shimon Shai, he fell of not, man. Right. Go ahead. It says, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Because look, one thing about man, bro, man will plan something, but then won't bring it to wish to fruition. Right. You know, you might like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I think I'm going to go to Raleigh this weekend. Hell, you end up not going. Right. Now, I bust you out. So, look, this is last weekend. I'm gonna kill him. Go, go do what you gotta do, Angel. That's gonna happen, man. That's gonna happen. That's right. Man changes mind. Yeah, I bust you out. Look, I, I change not. That's right. When I send forth the angels to put out a hit on the Israelite, look, they're gonna get it, man. Right or wrong. That's right. That's why the script says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Right. And I got one, bro. If you want, if unless you won't finish yet. Okay, it's finished. This is um Psalms chapter 18, verse 30. As for Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, his way is perfect. So so it might a person might be like, damn, that baby didn't do nothing to deserve that. Why why they do that baby like that? Why you know what I'm saying? Whoever, man, a grown up, a baby, who's using a baby for instance, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For an example. Cause you know when it was something happened to a baby, everyone was like, "What happened, man?" Right, right. Baby didn't do nothing. You don't know that, man. And that baby's former life didn't seek out the righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord brought him, brought he or she back on the earth to receive that judgment, man. That's right. They go forth every morning. So once again, Psalms chapter eighteen, verse thirty. As for Yahweh, His way is perfect. You know. Uh, you know how the Bible don't make mistakes, man. So when you see somebody get taken out, whether their head fall off and roll down the street or their arms get chopped off and whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? They guts, you know what I'm saying, spilled all over the streets. It was all orchestrated by God of the Bible. Look, look, and he was perfect in everything that he did, man. That's it says right. the word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him, man. And if you're seeking righteousness, that means you putting your trust in your how about Shemiah was shot. And yeah, we're going to be persecuted for righteousness, but I better, I'd rather be persecuted for righteousness than be put to death for committing wicked acts. That's you know? Right. Did I got you have something? Yeah, I got something. Yep. Because the scriptures say, uh, we read Zephaniah, the third chapter, it said, um, he will not do iniquity. All right? It's right. impossible for 
for Yahweh Shem Yahushai to do iniquity, right? Right. Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. So like you were saying through the spirit, bro, like when a, a, a well, what they call a newborn baby dies, you know, the Lord puts him to death. You know, you don't know what they did in their past life, man. Okay. Right. But that's, I mean, I was shy putting that um that that scope of death on on that person, man, who came back in the, you know, in reincarnation. You know, so it goes to show that the Lord's judgment doesn't fail. You know, he has that's an expiration right. date set for, you know, uh those who uh committed iniquity and deserves punishment by death, you know, and he's righteous in all his ways and in, in doing right. the judgment he brings forth, you know. So it says, Joe, it's like it, bro. That's why the scriptures tell us to, to fear our power, man. Mm -hmm. Serve the Lord with fear and trembling, man. Right. I, got, I got some scripture just to back up what you said, though. You no, know I'm saying because people see people hear about reincarnation, they're trying to come against reincarnation now, bro. I got a look, look, I got a scripture for him. You want to hear it? Here you go. Oh, what from a living color, right? Bro? <laughs> Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse nine. The thing that have been is that which shall be. Talking about your spirit, right? And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing. No new thing. Mm -hmm. No new thing. Right. Under the sun. We up under the sun, right? Mm -hmm. unless, you, unless you're above the sun. <laughs> right. You, you, know, you above the sun or you under the sun? <laughs> right. You know, because if you are under the sun, you've been here before, man. That's right. Verse 10, Ecclesiastes 1 and 10. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new? Going into what you was going into about the baby. Mm -hmm. So happened to that baby. Oh, man, there was a newborn baby. They ain't never did nothing. It was innocent, blah, blah, blah. But it still said whoever perished being innocent. Right. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new? It had been already of old time, which was before us, man. What's, what was before us, bro? The past. That's right. right? That's right. The past, man. Mm -hmm. So somebody get killed, you no know saying whether they're a baby or not, they, they come from the past, man. You know? And then right. when they come back in the future, they get their judgment, man. That's what that's why the henceforth, see, we don't name these videos, man. Like the right. title and stuff that we come up with, it ain't us naming these titles, man. The scriptures that we bring out, it ain't us bringing it out, man. Man going to the Lord, man. How right. can a man then understand his own ways? Even, even to the fact of us even seeking righteousness, it's of your how about Shem We ain't controlling nothing. We don't control no saying being good or bad, man. That's why right. we're about your how about Shem That's why we must fear him, bro. Mm hmm and I got another preset right quick, and then we'll go. We'll go. So we ain't even started the lesson yet, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> look, look, bro. We ain't started the lesson, but we have started the lesson, right? Uh huh. Psalm chapter 96, verse 4. And you can you can take this one on. Psalm chapter 96, verse 4. For the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. Hey, he's great and greatly to be praised, man. You know, our Heavenly Father has blessed us. In many ways, man, you know, beyond beyond our imaginations, waking us up, giving us health, giving us his word, man, right. bringing us back to our nationality, giving us the names to call on again, you know, having mercy on us when we truly didn't deserve it. Right. You know? So he's greatly to be praised, man. He's the one that's killing and making alive. He's right. the one that's bringing forth, you know, heavy judgment, you know. So he's greatly to be praised, man. Our power, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Israelites. Right. See, one thing about our people, bro, they act like we telling them to um, seek a, a pagan god or something, man. They act like we out there preaching, you know what I'm saying, telling them to come back to a, a power that ain't real. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Nah, it's the power that created everything that we telling our people to come back to, the same power that they say they love, but they really don't, bro. Mm. And if you know, you see how pissed off we get, man, how much more the Heavenly Father, man. Mm. You know, we get pissed the hell off, man. We see our people, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, not taking heed to the words of your how about Shimmy I was shy, man, but it's all good though, right? We keep it spiritual. It says, He is greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Yep, he's to be feared above all gods. 
These idols don't do anything, man. They don't kill. They don't make a lie. They just take with space, you know, and, and the Lord is a jealous power and righteously so, you know, when, when uh, our people out here, you know, bowing down to, to uh, whether they're into, um, you know, Buddhism or, you know, Christian Christianity, you know, worshiping um, Cesare Bourgier or, or right. Sarah, as I should say, you know, going back to um, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. I don't even like saying that name, man. Right. But that goes to show that, you know, these are false when idols. Say, when we say those names, we say those names just for edification. That's all. That's right. That's right. Con. That's all. You know, these, these these false idols don't bring hurricanes, earthquakes, death, destruction, house fires, you know. So so we're supposed to fear you how about you, me, I was shot, which is uh, the beginning of knowledge and wisdom as well. I got some, bro, since you said that right there. Con. Uh, let me see. Let's bring this right quick. Isaiah, since you said that right there, I got something for you. Isaiah chapter 29. Verse six, thou shalt, because you said, and I'm saying something about the earthquakes, who's bringing all this, then the third ain't Buddha. I'm a proof to you who's doing it. Isaiah mm -hmm. chapter 29, verse six, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts mm -hmm. with thunder and with earthquake mm -hmm. and great noise with storm and tempest mm -hmm. and the flame of devouring fire. Con, hey, look, those tsunamis that happen. Those house fires, those forest fires, those violent storms. Yeah, just a few months ago, man, it was a violent storm. And usually I sleep peacefully through storms, man. But the Lord's bringing that, bringing that storm heavy, man. That's right. how Rashad doing that. So he's greatly to be feared. You don't hear about these, these idols doing anything, man. They don't, they don't have any power to do anything whatsoever, man. You know, but, right. but cause you to air and go off. You know? That's right. So he's ready right. to be feared, you know. What's that? What's that one? Oh yeah, uh, get Psalms um eighty three, bro. And I'm thinking fifteen. Huh. Yep. Ain't that, ain't that the one I'm thinking of? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna find out. You, you said fifteen. Why you get that? I'm gonna read that Psalms ninety six again. Psalms chapter nine. Cause we're going to see why our people need to be seeking righteousness, man. Yep. Righteous look, riches profit not in the day of wrath. Righteousness mm -hmm. delivered from death, bro. Righteousness right. delivered from death. I got you, bro. Psalm chapter 96, verse 4 again. Did you ever find it, bro? Was that it? Um uh 18, 18, yep, uh yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. The water you have by Shemel Shah. Everything that we remember is coming from above. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't like we great thinkers and so smart and all and not. Nah. Whatever you know, you better give praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son for it, man. That's right. Every time, man. Every time. So when somebody come up, bro, you got a lot, a lot of knowledge, man. That's the Lord doing that, man. Right. Taking credit for nothing, bro. Psalm chapter 96, verse 4. For the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared. Mm -hmm. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. He is greatly to be feared, man. Mm -hmm. Feared, 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 man. Above all gods. Mm -hmm. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Mm -hmm. But the Lord made the heavens, man. That's right. I, our Lord made the heavens, man. Like brother used the word omnipotent, man. That's our power, y'all bush me. I was shy. When you feel like you about to go off of air, you think about the destruction that could come upon you, man. That death and destruction by pain from right. you I was shy. And like Apostle Gabar made a statement, man. That's a motivation, man, to, right. Get you right, to get you right in line, man, where you need to be. So we're supposed to fear you how about Shemi was shot. That's right. You, know, you, 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 you know, you don't even want to think about what, what eating um, abomin abominable foods or sleeping with the next man's woman because you know what can happen to you, man. Right. That, that fear is a motivator to keep you keep you in line, man, when you know who's the power doing all these things, man. You know, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And then on top of that, you got the angels constantly watching, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, the angels don't do, they don't need no sleep. Angels watching us now. Make mm -hmm. sure we do this lesson. What the scripture said, all the sinners of my people shall die by way of the sword, bro. Mm -hmm. And we ain't even touching none of the scriptures that we had yet, bro. Mm -hmm. When judgment start coming upon our people, the scriptures tell us not to pray for them, bro. Right. Because we're going we're gonna to most definitely pull out this um, St. John chapter 10. 
Mm -hmm. they not heard, yes, verily, they heard the word, bro. So when it all go down and they get judged for their wickedness, they ain't gonna have no excuse in that day, bro. All right. Go ahead. <clears throat> so uh going, what, what was I read? Oh, Psalm uh 83 and yeah. 15. Yep. It says, So persecute them with thy tempest. And, and what's a tempest? A mighty storm. We just read, you know what I'm saying? The guy of the Bible bring the storms, he bring the earthquakes, you know, he bring the tempest, he bring the flame of devouring fire, he do all these things. The Lord killeth, make up alive, no one can deliver out of his hand. Come on, man. You mean tell me you ain't scared of that? Right. You're supposed to wake up scared. You're supposed to be scared all throughout the day. You're supposed to go to sleep scared. That's right. <clears throat> the only thing the guy the Bible got to do is, you know what I'm saying, is give the give the order, man. That's right. Now your head gonna come off, man. Yeah. Go ahead, read it Psalm, again, bro. Kind of, uh, Psalm eighty three and fifteen. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Right, you know what I'm saying, and you see all these storms that go throughout the Midwest. You know what I'm saying, the uh, East Coast. The West Coast, mm -hmm. everything coming down the pipeline. Look, everybody's all um, laxy daisy, bro, to a um, big storm come through. Mm -hmm. You know? Then, then it's Lord of heaven. The Lord burn your house down. Then you want to seek the Lord. Why won't you seek the Lord before it burnt down? Right. Right? Right. Before you got in that car crash, whatever happened to you, man? Why won't you seek in the Lord then before you lost your legs? Before right. you lost your arms? Why won't you seek in the Lord then? Why won't you seek in righteousness then, man? You don't wait to our people always do that, bro. They wait till something happen, man. Right. They had a big Christmas tree in their house, then their house um burned the hell down, and then they uh well, Lord, help me, Lord. I need clothes now, Lord. <laughs> right. I ain't got no bed, Lord. My bed burned down too, Lord. Won't you why won't you sign the crime before all that happened, though? Right. For all the abominations that be done in the midst of all, a lot of our people going to die to death, bro. Mm -hmm. They still celebrating Christmas, John. They know it's a pagan holiday, man. Tear the stores up, man. Yep. So they just paid a couple of bills, you know what I'm saying, down a couple of blocks away, man. People tearing up the shopping center, bro, trying to, about to run into each other and everything, bro, trying to get in and out of that thing. Mm -hmm. you know, going to the Chinese restaurant, most definitely getting them big-ass wings that ain't even wings. You know how Jake is, bro. <laughs> it's it's showing sure us spending up some money, but ain't nobody paid their rent. Ain't nobody paid no tights or nothing, man. Right. Ain't nobody gave no offering to help out the ministry, bro. Mm. Was that the end of that, bro? Uh yep, kind of was. So let's get let's, let's let's go on to the lesson, bro. Give me Acts 3 and 19. Uh, yep. <clears throat> the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Right. Yeah, chariot sightings everywhere. More chariot sightings. The Lord about to make a move on this place. You got you got this uh this devil, this great deceiver, the Edomites, you know what I'm saying, getting ready to make it mandatory that you take the RFID chip. They're cutting jobs by the seconds. Look, all these jobs being cut, but our people are using all their money for stupid gifts, bro. You don't even know if you're gonna have your job come Monday morning. You know what I mean? Oh. But you're spending all your money on stupid gifts on people that don't care nothing about you, man. Mm. Go ahead, bro. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Right. The word repent means to turn back sorrowful, man, to mm -hmm. the God of the Bible. For all the wrongful thoughts, sins, and, and things that you did wrong. Yep. And be converted. Turn back, man. The God of the Bible gave everybody, every Israelite, he gave them enough time to turn back, bro. Right. Especially this knowledge has been out since the um, the late sixties, bro, up until now. Mm -hmm. But it's that same generation that died off in the wilderness, bro, and only that small remnant was led into the <laughs> promised land, bro. Mm -hmm. Same people coming back, bro. You can see, you can feel it, man. Right. Same ones, man. The same people that um made Aaron build that golden calf, they back on the earth right now, bro. Mm -hmm. All <clears throat> in the Christmas right about now, bro. Yep. Go ahead. It says Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Right. That your sins may be blotted out. 
that your sins, your transgressions may be blotted out, man. That you won't be held accountable for all the things that you did in this lifetime and your former lifetimes. Because you really don't know what you did, man. Right. And you don't want to know. You don't want to know the wicked acts that you commit. That's why you pray to be forgiven in this lifetime and your former lifetimes. Man, the hell with everybody else doing. Right. You see righteousness because you know death and destruction is coming, man. That's the only thing that's coming down the pipeline, bro. Death and destruction and salvation for the elect. And that's it, man. Everybody else going to die a horrible death, man. You know? Mm -hmm. That's right. It, it says that your oh, yeah, sins. Like, like, yeah, fin finish that right quick, bro. It's Come on. No, it's good, bro. That your sins may be blotted out. Right. When the, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And that's going forth right now. It's like our people envy, envy um, sinners, bro. Mm hmm. You see that, man? Jake want to be like these wicked knucklehead Negroes, mm -hmm. Latin and Native American Indians, man. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth doing nonsense, man. Envy to hang around them. Want to be just like them. They want to be like the men of the Lord. Right. But at the same time, everybody say they love the Lord, though, right? Everybody always quoting the Apostle Peter. You know what I'm saying? Or the Apostle Paul. Right. Saint Luke. All the men of the Lord, they always quoting them, yo. But like the scriptures say, yeah, they hear what the scriptures are saying, but they would never do them. Right. So these lessons that we do, bro, only for the elect every time. Every lesson mm -hmm. that we do is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. That's it, man. They got to be your mind state, bro. You know? Yep. Plus, the, the God of the Bible is really making us heartless right now, bro. Yep. Because, bro, for everything that's coming down the pipeline, you're pretty much going to have to be heartless, man. Because you be seeing family members dying left and right. You know? And if you try to show any kind of weakness... Or any weakness be shown, man. Look, who knows what's going to happen to you? You might just right. fall by the wayside, get all weak. Remember, these are the same people, you know what I'm saying, the spit in the Lord's face, bro. Mm -hmm. These are the yep. same people, you know what I'm saying, that destroyed and killed, you know what I'm saying, all the disciples and the apostles, man. Coming back, man. Go ahead. Come. You want me to keep reading on? Which, which verse you was at? Um, 19. Nah, I, I got some. I got some on the board. This is right. um, GMS Stay Woke. So rock chapter one, verse eight, there is one wise and greatly to be feared. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, sitting upon his throne, man. That's one thing about Israel. They fear the man that can take the body, but can't kill the spirit, man. Right. Can't take the soul, you know? And then once again, the wicked, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. That's the only thing our people want to get down with is wickedness, bro. It's just like, it's like, it's outrageous. How much wickedness our people in the, are involved in right about now, bro? Hmm. Yeah, ain't it though? Right or wrong? Oh, you're right, bro. It's outrageous how much wickedness our people are involved in right about now, bro. Right. It's crazy. But at the same time, let them be involved in what they give, give me. Um, give me Revelation 22 mm -hmm. 11 right quick, bro. Huh? Yep. That's the spirit right there, Con. Revelation 22 and uh, is it 11? Yeah, and I got this right quick for you, bro. This is uh -huh. Psalm chapter 96, verse 10. Ye that love the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh hate evil. Con, yeah, if you love Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh which we know love according to the Bible is keeping the statute, laws, and commandments, you know, to the best of your ability, then you're going to hate evil. Right. You're going to hate the ways of this world. You're going to hate Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, you know, you're going to hate uh, homosexuality, you're going right. to hate uh, bestiality, you're going to hate anything that's contrary to the scriptures basically right. man. you know that's right ye that love the lord so our people are a bunch of hypocrites right bro mm -hmm. our people are a bunch of hypocrites right right i love the lord and the loving the lord, lord is wrong and i don't want to be right but you're wrong <laughs> right wrong <laughs> no, <I'm saying. laughs> and wrong our people don't because look because they don't hate evil bro right they love evil man Y'all people love evil, bro. There's someone killing themselves right now, bro, putting bugs all over the house, bro. About to fall off the roof and everything, bro, trying to put bugs on top of that thing, man. All on the roof, bro. It ain't right. it ain't enough that you got light bulbs in your house on a dead tree, right? You, which is dry as on nowhere. You on top of the roof, trying to put lights. That's what I'm saying, man. You trying to you trying to make people know saying, oh wow, oh wow. Come on, man. I people get dick because it's good to say they're wise to do evil, bro. Mm -hmm. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the soul 
of his saints. Yep, the hey, the saints of the Israelites, but right about now it's only the uh, the uh, hopeful elect because two thirds of the nation of Israel are in that heathen state of mind. Right. You know? But he's going to preserve, you know, the the saints, the the hopeful elect, the ones that are seeking him, seeking righteousness. Right. The ones who hate, you know, uh, uh the the ways of this world, man. Right. We hate evil. We hate to see our people are gang banging, selling drugs, committing adultery, um, worshiping all these pagan gods and their customs, man. Breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. The scriptures tell us uh, to go to the house all morning, but the only thing our people are doing is feasting, bro. Mm -hmm. Rapping, joking, gun ranges, all this nonsense. Trying to get the gospel blamed for that nonsense, bro. We see right, right. through that, though. Bro. Right. Bro, we see right through it, man. Yeah. You know, can't pull the wool over our eyes. Right. He delivered the souls. He preserved the souls of the saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Yep. The Lord is going to deliver the, the souls of the saints, the uh, the elect, Lord, when we're part of that number, out of the hands of the wicked. You know, hey, and and that's ultimately um, salvation being beaten up in those chariots, you know, and the, and the kingdom coming forth, man. You know, but even even protecting us in, in the times of trouble that we're in now, man, because Revelation twelve and twelve is, is 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 happening. You know, right? But that's the Lord preserving and protecting the saints, the ones who truly uh, love Him and hate the ways of this world. That's right. Oh yeah, I got one more, bro. Psalm chapter. I'm gonna jump back to um, Psalm ninety six. Mm -hmm. Psalm chapter ninety six, verse thirteen. Before the Lord, He for He cometh. For he cometh to judge. He's going into the day of the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. Said the Lord coming to judge, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They say, bro, what do people say? They say, um, only the only God can judge me, right? Yeah, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That's what they say, right? Yep. Only God can judge me. So the God, the look, the God of the Bible say he's coming to judge. Right. You know? He says he's coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness. He's gonna judge the world according to the Bible, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And the scripture tell you not to do this, then the third, and you're doing this, then the third, you're gonna get judged off of it, man. Yeah, and the scripture right. say, do not commit adultery, and you commit an adultery, you're gonna get judged with that law. You know right. what I'm saying? If the law tell you not to worship any other God and you worshiping any other God, you know what your judgment gonna be, man. That's right. So forth and so on, man. If you're out here living a wicked life, and the scripture tell you, you know what I'm saying, to seek righteousness that you may live, you already know what your judgment gonna be, right? That's right. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, what's the truth? Thy word is true. St. John 17, 17, right? That's right. Thy word is true. So you're going to judge the people with this word, bro. That's Everything right. in his word say, man, that's what you're going to get judged on, man. Mm -hmm. So you say only God can judge me, right? Mm -hmm. That Tupac spirit, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Um, Yasha Allah, disciple, too. Proverbs 126, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. Mm. Mm. Hey, look, the Lord's going to laugh through who? His servants, man. You know, he's going to laugh through his men when he brings calamity upon you. You know, when, when you're facing famine, no food to eat. You know, you you let, you lost your uh, your wick. You know, your... um. What, what's the other one that they, <laughs> I can't remember this acronym, but, you know, when you lose your government assistance, man. Yeah. You know, you and lose your job. Eight. Say it again. What do you mean? Section eight? Uh, section eight, but it's another, <laughs> I forget the other one. Uh, Wick. Uh, Wick, it was something else, man. Uh, yeah. But anyway, you know, it, any calamity, man, that come upon Jake, man, where whether it's a disease, gout, high blood pressure, diabetes, and the Lord's gonna laugh, man, because he knows your fears and he he knows you. He created, he created us, man. Right. And he's gonna laugh through his servants, man. That's a beautiful thing. Because what they laughed at the men of the Lord for, for being righteous, seeking righteousness. You know? That's right. Oh, yeah. Um, Yeshua Allah, disciple two again, second Ezra chapter 9, verse 11. And they that have loaded my law while they yet had liberty. See, this was the time, you know what I'm saying? That grace period, this was the time to get your act together, you know? And when as yet place of repentance, the scripture say, repent, that your sins may be blotted out, right? Mm -hmm. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, bro. Mm. They despised, they hated the words that was coming out of our mouth when we read the Bible, bro. 
It says the same must know it after death by pain. Mm. Um, the kingdom is within Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Mm -hmm. It's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, they're going to remember themselves. They're going to get to it, man. Right. Shit, you, I know these superstars, they know they're Israelites, but they ain't doing nothing about it. You know right. what I'm saying? They're still being stiff necked. They're still being hard headed. But the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to fear you how Bashem Shai. They're going to give glory, honor, and praise to those names. And they're going to do whatever the scriptures tell them to do to the best of their ability. Um, Yeshua, the disciple, too, again, Judges chapter 10. I don't even know how many we're going to get to this. Brothers putting up scriptures. I don't know what on the comment board. Right. Judges chapter 10, verse 14. They don't want us to judge them, right, bro? But it's a book called Judges. That's right. Go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Going right back to um Joshua. Mm -hmm. Going right back to Joshua, the 24th chapter, I'm thinking. Choose yep. you this day whom you will serve. Yep. Go and come to the gods which ye have chosen. Santa Claus, he's a god. You know what I'm saying? Yep. All the different um pagan holidays, they come with gods, bro. Right. They come with entities. So the scripture is basically telling our people, look, when all hell break loose, you better go cry to Santa Claus. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, Rudolph, the Red Dove Reindeer, Blitzer, Prancer, mm -hmm. Dancer, you better go find them. And them little elves, you know what I'm saying, bro? You better go find them. That's right. how. Right. Hey, hey, if I could chime in, bro, that goes back to the scripture that um, the brother Yasha Allah, Disciple 2, brought out, says, I will mock when your fear come. You know, the Lord seeing you scared as hell, crying. Right. No, no, go cry to Santa Claus. I know that's yeah. right. Oh, 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 look, uh, Jake, uh, worshiping the black woman now, you know, saying that she's a god. Go cry to the black woman to save you, the so called black woman, you know, right? That's the Lord mocking them, man. Oh, yeah, I got a bad scripture too, you know what I'm saying? Um, once again, Judges chapter 10, our people gonna be scared to say, Look, you know, um, what's what that crump? Nah, what's that crump? What does that do that do, the mean Santa Claus? Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> is that Krumpus? No, um, 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 uh, Krumpus? I forget his name. It's that mean motherfucker, though. He look like, um, uh, y'all mean in the face. Is it, uh, I think it's, it's not the Grinch, is it? Nah, it ain't the Grinch, you know what I'm saying? It's that, okay. but you know, that Santa Claus go back to a wicked ass deity, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think it's Krumpus, ain't it? Yeah, I think it's Krumpus, though, bro. But nonetheless, they're gonna, they, they looking for Santa Claus, right? But he's gonna really be Krumpus, though, bro. Mm. Oh, even wicked ass entity, bro. And it's gonna scare the life out of them, bro. Mm. And then they're gonna be hollering, mm. bro. The Lord gonna start bringing them, them, them deities up in their households, bro. Because they're opening up this mm -hmm. new spirits inside their crib anyway, bringing all that nonsense in their crib. Then they wonder why plates falling off the wall right. and all the other stuff, right, bro? Then wonder why the kitchen, right. the kitchen, fridge, where the door, like, boom, 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 boom. come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, bro. It says, "Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation." So those Come. pagan gods, those pagan idols that you worshiping, when all hell, because you know tribulation is meaning pretty much when all hell break loose. Mm -hmm. When all hell break loose, go ask Santa Claus to give you some water. Then when you ain't hey, when you ain't trying no water, probably like two, three weeks, call on Santa Claus. Right, right. You know. Call on them Halloween deities when you ain't had nothing to eat in probably about three weeks to a month. And you laying on the damn ground like this, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> lay it out. Look, lay it stretched out and everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, call on them then. Right. It says, um, let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. And I got a precept. This is Psalm chapter 119, verse 1. Bless all the undefiled in the way. You know what I'm saying? It's which which the precept says perfect or sincere. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Can we serve the Lord in all sincerity, bro? In all humbleness of spirit, right? In all fear, right? right? Fear first and foremost, right? So it says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord to the best of your ability. You're not mm -hmm. walking around saying the laws are done away with, right? It says, Blessed are they. That keep his testimony. Mm. What's the testimony? The prophecies, bro. The prophecies, right? That's the, right. Of, the testimony of Lord Yahweh, the spirit of prophecy, right? 
Right. It says, and they, and look, and that seek him with the whole heart. Meaning your whole mind is all about seeking your how mm -hmm. by our shot. That's why his fourth the title, bro. Are you seeking righteousness? Meaning, are you right. seeking your how by shimmy our shot, right? Yeah, that was a bad scripture right there. All right. Wow. I mean, I could have kept on reading on down, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So the men of the Lord is seeking righteousness are not going to be ashamed in that day, bro, when all hell break loose. Right. You know? Oh, yeah, the kingdom is within. We're going to, Lord, we try to get to the, some of these scriptures, bro. I got scriptures all around me, man. <laughs> the kingdom is within. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 22. Fear ye not me, said the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was shot. Look, question mark, bro. Right. Question mark. The same entity that killed, keep alive, wound, heal, bring the storms, bring the earthquakes, bring the flame of the fire, fire and fire. He's asking a question, bro. Fear right. ye not me, said the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was shot. Will ye not tremble at my presence? Mm. Which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it, and though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Mm. Though they war, though they roar, yet can they not pass over it, man. You mm. don't fear anything like that. The Lord, like, oh, so you don't fear me. Look, I ain't, I ain't, oh yeah, the Grinch. Well, it wasn't the Grinch, it was um, Krampus. Type in Krampus, right. bro. Yeah, I was trying to find it earlier. Yeah, and type in Krampus, bro. It might be Krampus now, I think about it, but let me see. Uh, oh yeah, um, GMS Stay Woke, Psalm chapter 34, verse 14, depart from evil. Look, bro, depart from evil. It is, see, our people swimming in evil, bro. Swimming in wickedness right about now. The scriptures tell us to depart from evil, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? Repent. Turn mm -hmm. back, man. Right. Our people act like it's a, it's a bad thing to turn back from wickedness, bro. The scriptures say follow not a multitude right. to do evil, man. Was, right. was that it, bro? Yep, Krampus. Krampus, yep. yeah, Krampus. And that thing look ugly as hell. Evil, evil there, as hell. That's what's gonna fall out people soon come. Uh-huh. That, that's what's gonna get it out people soon come, bro. Mm. You know, and that little leprechaun dude. <laughs> it's gonna be chasing the hell out of our people, bro. Right. Look, look, bro, they asked for it though, right? Right. I got a precept for you too. Huh. I wish I wish I knew how to um I wish I knew how to um we could share our screen. We could put right. that picture up. Right. This is um Sarah, also known as Ecclesiasticus. Like you, let me see. Yeah, cunt. And, and these are these are the times we're living in, man. Where the Lord is is bringing heavy judgment, and he's he's uh he knows how to play upon these people' fear, man. You know, but the 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 Israelites have a time to repent, okay. But only the hopeful elect is gonna do that, man. Right. The, the two thirds ain't, so the Lord's gonna play on their fears, man. Right. You know. That's right. Hey, look, bro, so look, listen to this, bro. So Rock chapter 7, verse 16. Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners. You know? Mm -hmm. You see a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying, going out committing wicked acts. Don't jump in the middle of that crowd and try right. to kick it with them. Don't number yourself with the multitude of sinners, man. Don't become part of the gang bangers. Don't become part of the people that's you know, having a weed session and all that other nonsense. Don't be hanging out with guys that are hanging out with married women all day. Don't nod. Mm -mm. You know, you got people stealing, robbing, and looting and all that. Nah, don't number yourself with them, man. Following out a multitude to do evil, right? Mm. Once again, Sirach chapter 7, verse 16. Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners. Sin is the transgression of the law. You see people breaking the laws that you commandments of the Bible. Look, don't don't be around them, man. Right. You know. Yeah. Did we ever read Revelation twenty two and um eleven? Nope. I got it on deck. Yep. You got it on deck. Yeah, I got it on deck. Hey, listen to this right here, right, bro? Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners, but remember that wrath 
Not love, bro, but rev. Not hugs, but rev. Not kisses, but rev. Not snicker bars, but rev. Mm -hmm. But not Terry Long. Mm. Mm. Because that's heavy, ain't it? It is, bro. And you know that reading that scripture, mommy, what we brought out earlier through the spirit, you know, um, those that love the Lord hate evil. So if you're numbering yourself among sinners, then you don't have a problem with, with wickedness or, or evil, you know, which means that do you really love the Lord? You know, right. See, Lord said, don't just be a hearer of the word, be a doer also. That's right. Be a doer also, man. You want that every time, I turn, every time I turn on the news, bro, somebody they called a bad deal. <laughs> Look, bro, judgment though, you know? Right. That was it on that, bro. Kind. You want that revelation? Yeah. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 11. But look though, bro, you know the scripture also say he that hated correction shall die though. Mm. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Revelation 22 and 11. He that is unjust. Let him be unjust still. That's why that's why the, the Lord had us name the um lesson. Are you seeking righteousness? Because yep. he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Go ahead. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Right. And he that and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. That's right. And he and he that is holy, let him be holy still. Are you seeking righteousness? You know? Mm -hmm. Are you seeking righteousness? Let the world do what they want to do, man. The worldly people says love not the world, know the things that are in the world. I know people want to commit wicked acts, they want to still want to celebrate the cousins of the heathen. Then let them do what they gotta do, man. Mm -hmm. And you do what the God the Bible commanded you to do to the best of your ability. That's what you do, man. You seek righteousness. Because he right. that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Right. Look, we bring out lessons that the God of the Bible ain't down with that rap nonsense. Right. There isn't, there isn't anything wrong with rapping. Nah. You can rap on your own time. Don't incorporate it with what you have by Chanel Shad, though. You know? Right. Don't say I'm an Israelite rapper and I'm rapping for the Lord. Nah, man. The Lord, don't, if the, once again, like the apostles are always going to, if the Lord wanted rappers, he would have got the best. <laughs> right. You know? He would have got a he would have got a LL Cool J, you know what I'm saying? He would have got whoever this hot out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He would have got the he would have got Will Smith, you know, all the greats. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys, you know what I'm saying, bro. They want to be in the in the truth, but then they want to be in the world at the same time. Right. You can't serve two masters, though, right? Right. Now, the time I read, you couldn't serve two masters, bro. Right. Because you're gonna love one and hate the other, man. One of them, one of them gonna start getting on your nerve, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Con. Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly. Right. So you see, look, though it Terry, wait on it, right, bro? Mm -hmm. Do it Terry, wait on it. Because it will surely come. It will not Terry, man. Go ahead. It says, <clears throat> Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly. Right. And my reward is with me. That's right. To give every man according as his work shall be. That's right. And I got one, bro. Mm -hmm. So whatever you, whatever works you putting out there, no sense it's gonna come right back. Whatever mm -hmm. kind of energy you throwing out there into the universe, it's gonna come right back to you, man. Because yep. what? Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. I got that. <laughs> Second Peter, Second Peter, chapter two, verse um nine. The Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai knoweth. How to deliver the godly out of temptation, bro? Mm -hmm. And to and to reserve the unjust. It says, "He that is unjust, let him be unjust still." Right? Mm -hmm. It's not the Lord making these precepts link up, bro. Yeah. It's the Lord doing that, man. The mm -hmm. Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation, and to reserve, and to reserve, bro. Mm -hmm. Reserve now, and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment. To be punished. Yep. To be punished, bro. Mm-hmm. So, 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 so the unjust got reservations, bro. Exactly. Con. Yep. And, and if I could chime in, bro, the, the chips are going to fall in their place, man. Right. You know, the, the unjust, 
They're going to die a horrible death by Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. You know, whatever calamity Lord has set aside for them, and then the righteous are going to be um, preserved and receive salvation. We right. just, you know, we're part of the, the chips that fall on the righteous side. That's you know? right. Oh, yeah, bro. Listen to this, bro, right quick. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 21. He that, um, what is it, uh, 22, Selakia. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 22. Do they not err that devise evil? They err, bro. Mm -hmm. When they come up with wicked, the scriptures say our people are wise to do evil. Mm -hmm. um, Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, they're wise to do evil. So it says, mm -hmm. no saying, um, the ones out of our people that's doing evil, they err, bro. Mm. They err, bro. Do they not err that devise evil? But mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. Mm. Yeah, that's what we're doing, bro. We're devising good, bro. We're studying mm. the scriptures. That's right. We're doing what is right. Whether whether you are you around me or I'm around you, we still doing what the God, God the Bible command us to do, bro. That's right. You know, we ain't gotta be around each other to commit righteous acts, right? To the best of our ability, we're doing that when we ain't around each other, man. Mm -hmm. Can't just be an Israelite on Saturdays, <laughs> you know. But yeah, the God of the Bible said He know how to um, deliver the godly out of temptation, and He know how to preserve the unjust for the day of wrath, bro, for the day of punishment, bro. Mm -hmm. The Lord gonna, the Lord gonna touch these people, man. Right. And, oh yeah, the kingdom within. He put a good scripture down here, Proverbs chapter twenty-two, verse three. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. Pretty much the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. A wise man, see what's going on. A wise man, he considering what you have by Shino yeah. is doing on the earth. But the unwise, the simple, two-thirds of our people pass on and are punished, aka destroyed, bro. Mm -hmm. So so it is what it is. What'd you have, bro? Con, I got I got a few of them things. A few of them precepts here. Um, let me bring out uh Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. You know, we have times we in we in the we in danger zone, man. Right. You know, we in, in the final of the end days, man, of, of this wicked rulership, man. And uh, the kingdom, everlasting kingdom, is is is, is being uh, raised up, man. You know. Mm -hmm. So knowing the times, it says that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, man. That's a, a spiritual sleep, man. Our people, majority of our people are are, are dead, man. They're not awake. Wow. They're, they're um caught up in this world, not realizing the times that we in. And this is a high right. time, you know. It says. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. You know, like bro, like, like bro right about Nettie out buying Christmas tree. That's still trying mm -hmm. to get that tree, bro, right before Tuesday. Come right. On. Right before Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, right? It's like you doing all right. you see how right about now, bro. It's always a quiet before the storm, right or wrong. It's always a quiet mm -hmm. yep. before the storm. Everything seems all peaceful right about now. Light bulbs everywhere. She a, a so-called new year coming up, it's gonna be higher taxes. Fucking energy bill going up, rent going up, water going up, cable going up, food going up, taxes mm -hmm. once again going up, everything going up, but everybody celebrating like I don't know what right about now, right, bro? Right, right. Yeah, you can't forget different different legislation is being passed. You know, you're yep. you're becoming more and more of an enemy of the of the um the state, bro. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all lovey devil. Long, long as the scripture trying to damn look at that car. Damn. Somebody ran up on a car in the car like this, bro. Damn. Judgment. See. Mm. That's what I'm saying, bro. Long they got a Christmas tree in the house, though, right, bro? Right. Long they got a Christmas tree in the house, right, bro? <laughs> Go ahead, though, bro. Come. It reads. Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, and that goes back to uh, the brother, the kingdom is, is within, you know, a prudent man for sea of evil. A prudent man know what time it is. Right. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemia was shot. It says that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. And these, these uh, pagan 
holidays ain't going they, they don't profit you they don't uh help build up your your spiritual um your spiritual uh you know um increasing to receive salvation you know if right. anything it puts it, it puts you in a docile spirit it, it furthers you away from your power but you israelites man you know it furthers right. you to be out by Shmiel Shai, indulging in these these wicked holidays man heathen days that's right I, it, that's pretty much it on that one i got some more precepts too I forgot. I forgot what I was gonna say, man. It was something heavy, though. Maybe, maybe to come back, though. You know. Come. Huh. Well, bro, get um, get um. I forgot what I was gonna say, though, man. Through the spirit, it was something heavy, though. But nonetheless, get on um, Romans ten and, and ten and fourteen, bro. Huh. Yep. The book of Romans, chapter ten, verse fourteen. Right. It says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Right. That's when the men of the Lord come into play, though, right? Yeah. So we're telling our people about Yahweh, about Shemel Shai, and then they got somebody to call on. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, because without a preacher being out there, a teacher being out there, our people wouldn't know about you how about Shemel Shai, right? Right. Go ahead. It says, and how shall they hear without a preacher? Right. So the preachers are out there on the highways and byways, so you know they didn't hear it already now, bro. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Go ahead. As it is written. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. Right. And that's us. Go ahead. And bring glad tidings of good things. Read on. Verse 16. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Look, the good news, bro. Going right back to Hebrews 4 and 2, though. Mm -hmm. They heard the gospel, but it wasn't mixed with faith in them. Right. They heard it, right? They have, they have not all obeyed the gospel, meaning the good news. This word. Go ahead. It says, for Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report? Go ahead. Verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing. Right. And hearing by the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, faith cometh by hearing, but you got to be given the gift of faith. When you hear the words to actually believe in it. That's why Isaiah said, who has believed our report? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 18, Romans chapter 10, verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? This is the point right here. Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. So look, all the athletes, the musicians, the politicians, the, the, the Jake's on the block, the Jake's is going to the club all the time. Everybody didn't heard about the Israelites, mm -hmm. man. But before it's all said and done, every Israelite going to hear about this truth, man. That's right. So they can get judged, bro, for not for not taking heed. Because you know, you have a bunch of shots righteous in all his dealings, man. That's right. So he's, perfect in, he's perfect in all his ways, bro. That's the end of that? It's a little bit more. Romans chapter 10, verse 18, reading on. Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. By where what? By where what? The internet. Mm -hmm. Everybody got the internet. You got, you got four or five year olds broke on the internet. Right. You know? Go ahead. It says, and their words unto the ends of the world. Right. By where the internet. So this word then went out throughout the four corners of the earth. You got people way over there on the other side of the earth. Mm. Know about this truth now, bro. Yep. You know. That's right. So ain't gonna be no excuses in that day. You think our people ain't heard Jeremiah the tenth chapter by now, bro? Right. They ain't heard Jeremiah the tenth chapter by now. Mm -hmm. They ain't heard Isaiah fifty-five or six by now. Mm -hmm. Huh? And all the other scriptures, they heard them, man. You think they ain't heard First Samuel chapter two verse six by now? Right. The Lord kill for make up for life. You think they ain't heard that by now? Right. What did Isaiah say though? Have, um, who have believed our report though? Right. 
That's why the script say so. Get bro, get um Acts right quick. Acts twenty eight mm-hmm. and um twenty four. All right. Ain't that it? Or yeah, that's it on that. Or the twenty four twenty eight. I think it's um twenty eight twenty four, but uh, I'll find out. Yeah. Let's see. Want to read that? We probably we probably do a couple more minutes, bro, and then wrap it up, bro. Bro, do you know we ain't getting none of these scriptures? <laughs> that's the spirit of the Lord. Yep. Um. Yep. I got it. It's twenty eight and twenty four. Yeah. And uh, uh, the book of Acts chapter twenty eight verse twenty four, and some believe the things which were spoken. Right. And some believe not. So when when um, Isaiah asked the Lord, "Who have believed thy report?" Some, some. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but many, meaning the majority of our people, didn't believe the report. Right. This is why the scriptures say it'd be more people that die than get saved. Mm-hmm. You know? It'd be more people that die than get saved, man. Yep. Whole lot of people going to die, man, in these coming up days, man. Mm-hmm. Later, look, as we speak, as we make this video, somebody being taken back to the spiritual realm. Yep. You know? Israelite anyway. Because this is who this yep. lesson is for. There's the end of that, bro. Con, yep. Get Zephaniah 2 and 3. I am already here. <laughs> I'm already here. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. Bring out a Seek couple more Lord. We'll bring out a couple more scriptures, bro, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. Seek ye the Lord. Because what? The meek shall inherit the earth, man. Mm-hmm. The humble of our people, the elect of the nation of Israel, seek the Lord, man. Which they're going to seek the Lord anyway, man. They're going to hear the sound of the trumpet because the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice anyway. That's right. You know? So if Israel, if the elect is out there, no sense celebrating these pagan customs, as soon as they hear that they're not supposed to be doing it, they're going to stop it, bro. Mm-hmm. They're going to stop it, bro. They're going to stop eating fat back. You know? Mm-hmm. They're, going to stop, they're going to stop messing with the next man's woman. They're going to stop game banging. They're going to stop selling drugs. Whatever they're doing contrary to the words of the Bible, they're going to stop doing it, bro. That's right. Cause look, because you ain't got that much time anyway. The, the, the writing's all over the wall. You, you really ain't got that much time left. Right. Go ahead. Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Instead of seeking the Lord, you got the majority of our people there on the road right about now, bro. Mm-hmm. Hauling ass, going out of town, bro. Yeah, all this traffic, busy ass so called holiday. You no know saying people, the, people just rushing trying to get somewhere, bro. They ain't. They go, man, there's gonna be so many deaths on this road, man. Mm-hmm. This ain't the time to be traveling. Um, airports all flooded out. You saw be making a lot of money off the the knuckleheads, mm-hmm. all right, bro? Right. Bro, spending all their hard earned money, bro. Ain't he paid the rent yet, man? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Go ahead, bro. It says, read and on Zephaniah 2 and 3, which have wrought his judgment. Right. Seek righteousness. That, look, are you seeking righteousness? Because mm-hmm. the scripture telling us to seek righteousness. Right. Which is the which is the words of the Bible, the knowledge with understanding of the scriptures. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Can I bring out a definition of righteous? Yep. Person yep, or conduct. Out, Con. It says of a person or conduct morally right or justifiable. It says, Man. it says honest. No, bro, no, bro, no, bro. Morally right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because these people, you know what I'm saying, that you see walking around the streets, man, is immoral. Yep. You know what I'm saying? No, bro, they have no morals. Right. These people do anything, bro. It's going to say morally right, man. Yeah. You're conducting yourself the way the scriptures tell you to, man. Mm-hmm. You're a man, you messing with a woman, right? Mm-hmm. You're a woman, you messing with a man, right? Right. You know I mean, you're a man, you messing with a woman, you're a woman, you messing with a man, right? Right. This being morally right, right? That's right. You know? <laughs> doing, doing what the scriptures command you to do to the best of your ability, man. These people ain't got no morals, bro. Right. It says worthy 
What was the other ones right after um, morally right? Okay, kind of, it says uh, righteous of a person or conduct morally right or justifiable. Oh, yeah. What does scripture say? Um, Second Peter chapter 3, I think it's 11 and 12. Knowing all these things shall be dissolved. How should you be conducting yourself? Mm -hmm. What should be your conduct? You should be showing forth some morals, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right. It says upright. Damn. You know, ethical, honest, Damn. saintly. That, that most, that, that's most definitely two thirds. I know, right? What else is that? I'm gonna read this one. I'm gonna read this one verbatim. It says, "God fearing." Damn. Yeah. Ain't that something, boy? Ain't that mm -hmm. some? Yeah. Are you fearing the Lord? That's pretty much the same thing. Are you seeking righteousness? Are you yeah. are you fearing the Lord? Mm -hmm. Same thing. He said righteousness said um fearing the Lord, right? Right. It, no, it's a heavy one right there. Yeah, it's a heavy one. It's, it, it, bro, it's, it's a lot of them in here. It says, I'm going to read a couple more. It says, honorable, blameless. Damn, honorable. Yeah. Know what I'm saying, bro? And that's what the Lord is looking for. Men of honor, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Men of honor. That's what Yahweh Bashimel Shah is looking for. Mm -hmm. The true worshipers, bro. The men of the Lord got morals, bro. Right. They got a code. They got a code that they live by, bro. Mm. This is not a good understanding of the scriptures, right? Mm. Go ahead. It said acceptable. Damn. And and the last one says, uh, very good, excellent. Damn. Yep. Look, 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 the elect, bro. Mm -hmm. The best of its kind, the collectos. That's right. The, the best of its kind, man. You know? Better than all the rest. <laughs> you know? Remember that commercial? Okay, yep, yep. <laughs> Does it on that, bro? Uh, yeah, it's it on that. I'm going to finish the scripture. Though. Yeah. If you're okay with that, it says yeah, uh, yeah. Zephaniah 2 and 3. Reading on, it says, Seek righteousness, seek meekness. Right. So, you see, when you're serving your house by Shemel Shah, you got to come humble. And the majority of our people are proud, too proud, bro. Hmm. You know, our people, our people are too proud to serve your house by Shemel Shah, bro. Because when you serve the Lord, you got to come humble, bro. You know, people are like, Nah, mm -hmm. I ain't trying to be humble. They want to be proud, man. And pride go up before destruction and a hearty spirit before fall. So, right. you know, the majority of our people are going to die soon come. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. If you're seeking the Lord, though, if you're seeking righteousness, if you're fearing you have about Shemel Shad, it may be that ye may be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. And his wrath, we bring death and destruction upon this place because that's who's bringing it, the God of the Bible. But you got to seek righteousness, though, man. And this, ain't, this ain't saying seek righteousness once a week. Right. You're doing it every day, man. Every day. You're faced with different obstacles, different temptations each and every day, man. The Lord want to see what we really made of, man. Right. He's going to make some of us, Lord, when we have that number, judges and rulers and priests of the whole earth, bro. Right. He don't want no men that's half-assing it, man. You know? This is like you got a company, but the guy, you know what I'm saying, that you want to put the head of your company is a bullshit. Nah, man. Right. You would be crazy if you let him run your company, right? Right. You want a man with integrity. You want a man that's honest. You right? Right. To run your company, you can just let anybody just run your company, right? Nah, man, just because they're Israelite, you're just gonna let anybody run the company, right, bro? Because mm. they're Israelite, right? <laughs> Come on, man, you and your company be ruined it by, by the next day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> leave, leave it up to Jake, bro, right? Everything, bro, they don't know how to carry themselves or nothing, man. Nah, the Lord ain't dealing like that. It says honor, right. The Lord is looking for men of honor, man. You know, that was it on that, bro. Yeah, that's get, it on get that. On, get Proverbs twenty-eight and five. Get Proverbs twenty-eight and five. Uh, 
Proverbs.com. Let me see. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, <clears throat> verse 5. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. I know this dude. He said he spent like um like 2400 on Christmas. Damn. Yep. He spent twenty four hundred on Christmas, and and rent get ready, and rent get ready to come up. Yep, I was get get ready to say that. Then then be the main one asking people for money for rent. Or so you got to kick out eleven hundred for rent. Dang. Go ahead, so, so he spent two he spent two months of rent on Christmas uh, presents. Anyway. <laughs> Bro, just, just to make somebody, just to put a smile on somebody's face, right, bro? <laughs> right. This, this going to hate you in a month, right? Right. Huh. Go ahead, bro. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 5. Right. You know the, you know the ugly ass boots, you know what I'm saying, the women be wearing, bro? They right. grind. Yeah. <laughs> the the ugly boots, like rug boots or something? Ugly boots, yeah. Bought some of them shit and some other mess. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Come. Proverbs 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment. Look, look. Evil men understand Shalom, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, Rakaqwa, Dash, Barakatha. Hey, look. Evil men understand not judgment. They don't know celebrating these customs of these heathens and what we've been naming all throughout the show, like gang banging, selling drugs, committing adultery. They don't know that that's going to bring forth swift judgment. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Swift destruction. But evil men understand not judgment. They're too busy having fun, bro. Right. They're too busy, They're too busy out there buying them Christmas gifts right about now. You know, it was havoc out there today, bro, when I got out of work, man. These people going all crazy trying to get gifts in and out of this store and that. Just um, running like somebody backing up or whatever. Just walking right past the car like this, bro. I ain't looking at nothing, bro. On that phone, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Evil uh, people understand not judgment, bro. Right. People don't understand that game banging will get you popped in your head, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It'll get your career ran up in, right? It'll get your career shot up, right? Mm-hmm. Same thing with messing with the next man's woman, right? Right. Same thing with celebrating the cousins of the heathen, man. The God of the Bible brings swift judgment upon you, right? Right. But evil men understand that judgment. They're breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Evil men understand that judgment, bro, until judgment come upon them, right? Right. Go ahead. All right. You want to chime in, feel free, bro. You know that. Con, con. Proverbs 28 and 5, read it on. Matter of fact, I'm going to start from the top. Yeah. Evil men understand not judgment. Right. But they that seek the Lord understand all things. Right. But they that seek the Lord understand all things, bro. Yeah. Why? Because you're seeking the Lord. He put his spirit on you to understand that if you don't do this, then he's going to do that. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, then he's going to do this. Right. You know, we just read earlier, the Lord bring forth that judgment each and every morning, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then the unwise man, consider if not. That the, that the God of the Bible is doing all that. You know? That's right. Man, I'm trying to tell you, man. The dude I work with, he went to the club uh -huh. the other night, man. You know what I'm saying? Did you hear about that club that? Well, you probably didn't hear about it, you know what I'm saying? Because you somewhere else. But there was a club down here that got shot up. You know what I'm saying? The guy that I work with, he, he went to the club. And the dude he was with, you know what I'm saying, got hit all up in the throat and everything. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Died, died, died right out there, man. Trying to see that dude, you know what I'm saying, with his um, Robbie Wave. Robbie Wave and Jeezy, you know what I'm saying, was at the club or whatever. You you, you got dead, you know what I'm saying, going to see some rappers, yo. You know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> and, the, and the dude, you know what I'm saying, that worked with was right beside the dude. Mm. Gun, but, but it's wrung out. You know what I'm saying? Right. A prudent man for see if the evil, though. Right. And hide himself. You know? Mm. But, the, but the simple pass on and are destroyed, bro. Mm. Not, not not seeking righteousness, right? That's what happens when you don't seek righteousness. That's right. That's it on that. Yeah, that's it on that. Get um get wisdom of Solomon on uh, one and one, bro. Con. We'll bring out a couple more. I mean, we ain't gonna get to all these. Shoot, I think, bro. We only got uh out of, on this thing that I wrote all these scriptures down. We we what we read one, two, three, four. 
out of probably like 50. Oh, wow. But that's just how the Lord do, though. That's how the Lord do, though. That's right. Go ahead. The Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Right. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Look, love righteousness. See, the judges, the priests of you have, but you know, I'm supposed to love righteousness, bro, not wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. But the two are together unless they be agreed, right? You got men on the earth, when they judges of your how about Shemel Shah, but they hanging out with, with wicked Israelites every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? They hanging out. Look, look, bro. It says the judges of the earth are supposed to love righteousness, right? Right. Well, why the hell did you, why the hell are you at a gun range then? Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Hmm. Why are you, why are you inviting non-believers to the Passover? Right. You supposed to be you supposed to love righteousness, bro. bro hypocrites, bro. Mm -hmm. Why are you letting these women hold women classes and all that? Right? You supposed to be a judge, right? You can't you can't judge that matter. You supposed uh, the judge is supposed to be able to judge. It would say the um, the righteous um would say the righteous man shall judge. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be the judges. They're supposed to be loving righteousness. Why they ain't judging the right then, bro? Right. Them the wicked judges right there, bro. That's right. Uh, the wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verse one. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Right. So, so we can judge, bro. Yep. Right. Yep. We can judge. A righteous man judge of all things. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Kind. I was thinking that. Kind. Go ahead. It says, "Think of the Lord with a good heart." Yeah, and with, with a clear mind. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And and simplicity, Salaki, and in simplicity of heart, seek him. Right. The simplicity of your how is shy, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord make it real easy, man, to serve. Yep. Right? Our people make it hard, bro. Because they still want to be in the world and try to be in the truth at the same time. You can't play both sides of the fence, man. Mm-hmm. You go. You either gonna be all in or all out, man. Right. The Lord said, "No, saying we read it earlier, bro. Seek the Lord with your whole heart, meaning your whole mind. Yep. You gotta put your whole soul into it, man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse two. The, 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 now that's that's it. Verse one. Because the, the man has got um they foot in the truth, and the rest of their body in the world, they truly don't believe, bro. They don't. Yeah. They got they got their self still in the world because they uh feel like this truth ain't. Really gonna pop off and be what is every is all hyped up to be, so they in the world, so they can have a safety net, bro. Right. So you don't truly believe, man, like we do, man. Yep. But that all comes from you have about Shimei Shai, though, right? That's right. Go ahead. What does scripture say? Um, uh, about the lukewarm niggas. That's lukewarm, right? You right. Know, being having your foot in the truth and in the foot in the world. You know, the Lord says he's gonna spew you out of out of his mouth, man. Right. You know, the Lord ain't dealing with no lukewarm niggas, man. Right. I got a precept. Go ahead. The book of Amos chapter 5, verse 14. It says, seek good and not evil that ye may live. You got that. Yeah. We, our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites supposed to be seeking good, the righteous way. You know? Uh, keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability, calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, coming back to your nationality, not celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, your birthday, not getting tattoos, not game banging, not selling drugs, okay, but seeking the righteous way, you know, not evil. It says that ye may live, okay, this is the only way you're going to be able to live if you seek righteousness and be protected. Yep, that's right. It says, and so the Lord, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Right. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie. He says he's going to protect the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we're part of that fold, that fold. But only the elect, you know, is going to seek righteousness. Right. Only the elect is going to be, you know, trying to please you. How about you? I was shot to the best of their ability, man. Mm -hmm. By keeping the statute laws, commandments, pray, uh, praying to the Lord constantly walking that uh righteous path you know well a path of difficulty yep because it's easy to know saying um building that nonsense bro it is don't take um, no energy, bro don't take no energy to, to um walk down that wicked path 
You know what I'm saying? That unrighteous path. It take energy. It take effort. You know what I'm saying? To walk down the path that we walking down, bro. Oh, you know, right. it takes strength, bro. It takes um discipline. Mm -hmm. It takes being obedient to walk down the path that we on, man. Mm -hmm. it, it's not an easy path, bro. That's right. It's that straight and narrow, bro. That look, that lead us to everlasting life, though. That's right. That wide gate, that wide path, you know what I'm saying, lead to destruction, bro. And that's the majority of our mm. people that sit on that, bro. Done. That's it on that. You know, um, we'll bring up probably like two more scriptures, bro, and then we'll wrap it up. Done. You read that Amos 5 and 4? Uh, no. Which one did you read? I read Amos 5 and 14. Oh, 14? Come on. Read, go back and read 4. Come on. Yep. The book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 4. For right. thus said the Lord unto the house of Israel. See, this is the Lord speaking. The only thing we're doing is reading the scriptures, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Go ahead. Amos 5 and 4. For thus said the Lord unto the house of Israel, right? Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Look, are, are you seeking righteousness? Because if you want to live, that's what you better do. Better seek the Lord, man. Right. And, and look, he, he, he specifically said, you no know saying what nation he was talking about, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. He didn't make no mistakes when he said that name. He says Israel, a people before us a place. Seek ye me if you want to live. If you want to have any chance of thinking about living and making it through what I got coming down the pipeline, you better seek me. You know? Right. That's it? Yep, Con, that's it on that. Get, get um get second Ezra, bro, um, seven and twenty. Con. <clears throat> we're, we're gonna bring out two more scriptures, bro, and then we're gonna wrap it up. I mean, I I, I knew we weren't gonna get through all of these and but it's all good. We just want to throw something out there in the air, man. That's right. We've been going for like an hour and 30 minutes anyway. Huh. Time went by quick, didn't it? Yeah, I was just thinking that. You know? You know. Second Ezra chapter I gotta, 7. I got to work them all anyway, so I'm going to get ready to roll anyway. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yep. Uh. Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life. And the word perish means to die, man. Yeah. It's gonna be a whole lot of Israelites that die soon. Come, bro. Look, look, why, why though, bro? It says they despise the law of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That is set because they them. don't want to seek out. Because they don't want to seek out the righteousness, bro. They despise the words yeah. of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that we're giving them, man. The same ones that despise the words when Moses gave it to them, bro. But we're coming in the same stead, bro. Only thing, only thing what yep. Moses was doing, bro, was giving them the word, right? Only thing we're doing mm -hmm. is giving them the word, right? And they despise it. Yep. I mean, they hate it, bro. That's why the scriptures say it'd it be more, it'd be more of them, you know what I'm saying, that die, you know what I'm saying, than get saved, bro. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a whole lot of Israelites that perish, bro. Yep. Because they despise the words of the Lord. The Lord say, look, learn not the ways of the heathens. They do it anyway, bro. Hmm. Worship no other God. They do it anyway. Don't commit adultery. They do it anyway. Turn from wickedness. They do it anyway. Hmm. But then as soon as they start getting taken off the earth, then everybody crying for them, right, bro? Right. Then everybody marching for these um, wicked Israelites, bro. Right. Want nobody marching for Lord Yahweh Shai when he got crucified? Right. That's it, bro. Come. Uh, unless you want more. Read it one more time. Uh, second Ezra chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. Right. Bro, get on Proverbs 13, 21. We'll, we'll end it off on that. I mean, we got so many more. It's crazy, man. <laughs> 13 and 21? Yeah. All right. The book of 
Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21. Evil pursue of sinners. Look, evil pursue of sinners, man. Mm. Sin is the transgression of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, man. Evil meaning bad time, man. Oh. Evil pursue of sinners, man. Oh. Knowing you pursuing after somebody you chasing after them, man. Yep. Like when it's when the cops say I'm in, I'm in hot pursuit. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get a suspect. Hey, yep. look, 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 evil meaning bad times gonna be dead on our people's ass soon come, bro. You know? Yeah. And they're gonna be trying to evade it, you know what I'm saying? Maneuver right around and all that. But look, them bad times gonna be dead on their ass, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can imagine it too. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro, they gonna be dead in the ass, bro. Dang, bro. That's why, man. That's why, look, bro. It's a wonderful thing to be able to laugh at what we're saying because we know we fear you how about shit, man. Right. And it's a wonderful thing that Lord kept His spirit on us, and Lord willing, He'll keep continue to keep His spirit on us to fear, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. look, bro. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be fearful, most definitely, now. Right. Above all things, it's gonna be most definitely fearful. But then the God of the Bible said, I'm going to mock when your fear comes up. So the God of the Bible going to let us get some laughs in, Lord, when we have that number, though. Right. We'll get a laugh at two-thirds, bro. Catch the hell, man. Right. Because why? Evil pursue of sinners, man. Mm -hmm. And, boy, you know, that's going to be some funny shit, though, ain't it, though, bro? Right. Evil pursue of sinners, man. What else to say, bro? It says, reading on Proverbs 13 and 21, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look, look, are you seeking righteousness? Right. Are you seeking righteousness? Mm-hmm. If it's not, evil meaning the bad times are going to be pursuing you soon, come. Mm. You know, what it say about the righteous though, bro? Yep. Proverbs 13 and 21, evil pursue sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Look, look, my servant shall eat. Yep. My servant shall drink. My servant shall sing. My servant shall be merry. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Are you seeking righteousness? You have any closing statements, bro? We'll probably do probably Lord willing either on um, tomorrow or whenever the spirit have it. You know what I'm saying? We'll just do a part two or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he didn't hate a correction show. That's right. You got any closing statements, bro? No. Hey, look, are you look? You see the title? Are you seeking righteousness, man? Because if not, man, right. these bad times are gonna be pursuing you, man. Gonna be dead in your ass, man. That's right. <laughs> right. Hey, with that, we're gonna be the dead horse, man. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, yeah. Yahweh, yeah. Yahweh, Yahweh, us. To the head of apostles and elders of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can man. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's people here for a better man. Are you seeking righteousness? Shalom. Shalom.